Hi, I'm Dr Kate from the Pet Health Club and today we'll be looking at some of the inflammatory conditions of a dog's ear, otherwise known as otitis externa. Today we'll be taking a look at some of the causes, the symptoms and the treatments for otitis externa. Otitis externa literally means inflammation of the outer ear canal and it's something we see commonly in dogs, especially with long floppy ears. In certain breeds such as the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, the Labrador and the Cocker Spaniel, we may see this condition recur multiple times throughout the animal's lives. In most cases, the treatment is relatively simple, but occasionally more involved treatment is needed. It's important to differentiate inflammation of the ear from actual infections. Inflammation of the ear can be caused by things like foreign bodies, parasites, polyps, tumours, or even allergies. All of these conditions disrupt the normal environment of the ear, making it more warm and moist. Bacteria like to grow in this environment, and as the conditions change, the bacteria or yeast can overgrow. This can result in your pet having a painful ear infection. Ear infections are painful and irritating to dogs. Most dogs with otitis externa will show signs of scratching or pawing at one or both ears, head shaking, discharge from the ear canals, smelly ears or a head tilt to one side. If you see any of these signs, you should take your dog for a checkup. Your vet will typically diagnose your dog's ear infection by having a look down the ear with an otoscope and sometimes by taking a swab and having a look under the microscope. This can allow the vet to identify parasites such as bacteria, yeast and mites. Diagnosing the underlying cause that predisposed your dog to have an ear infection is very important and may require further testing. In the case of foreign bodies or polyps, the answer may be simple, but more complicated things like allergies may require more intensive testing. In more simple ear infections, treatment usually involves putting a topical eardrop down your pet's ear. The specific type of medication will depend on the infection, whether bacterial or yeast. The vet may also prescribe some anti-inflammatories to reduce the inflammation, swelling and itchiness in your pet's ears. In more severe cases of otitis externa, a general anaesthetic may be performed to help clean out the ears thoroughly before continuing on normal medications. In extreme cases where long-term infection and inflammation has narrowed your dog's ear canal, a surgery called a total ear canal ablation may be performed. This surgery involves removing the whole ear canal, but it does provide a more permanent solution to otitis externa. Regular use of an ear cleaner every time your animal has a bath, has a swim, or even just once a month can reduce the likelihood of otitis externa happening. Plus, every time you put the ear cleaner down, you have a good look at their ears and you can pick up on signs of infection even earlier. From the team at the Pet Health Club, we hope this video has been useful in giving you further insight into otitis externa. If you have any further questions, please talk to your vet.